What is up guys, Neil here, back with an Android game review. So for today's review, I wanted to sh um, share the game Alto's Odyssey, the sequel to the first game, Alto's Adventure. So what we have in this game is a slightly upgraded, but all new um, visual experience in the Alto um, game experience. So in this case, I'll be reviewing the Android version, but it is also available for iOS. Um, so jumping into the game, if you played Alto's Adventure, it's pretty, um, uh, it's pretty much a familiar layout, so you kind of get the si similar layout. I don't remember exactly how the transitions are in the first game, but, um, you can adjust things like the sounds and music, decide where you want the pause button. If you want to replay, uh, your, pro your tutorials or reset your progress, you can do things like that. Um, the game does allow you to up do various upgrades and have various other things. So if you want to remove ads, get uh, coin doublers, upgrade your board, get, upgrade your magnet timers, you can do things like that. So once you gain enough coins, that's a feature of the game. Um, playing the game as well is pretty straightforward. Once you tap the screen to start, you'll see your... Uh, a quick rundown of the objectives you need to do. Hitting the pause button will allow you to see the goals as well. So that way, if um, you want, if you forget where you're at or you want to see what the status is, then you can do that. Um, the thing to notice in this, or the thing to note in this game, which I don't remember in the first one, is that you do also have to avoid um, obstacles like that. Um, rock so you can either watch an ad and uh, continue from where you were at like you see now or you can restart the level from the beginning so um, I'm just gonna hit play again and the game the level will restart from the beginning you'll see a nice little f um, jump there and as you perform various tricks you also do get the ability to get a shield you get coin collectors and various power-ups so um, the one thing to note here is that you, you will see um, uh, things like um, a wall to, um, in order to do various tricks. So if you want to jump higher, you can um, uh, grab onto, for example, onto that wall, and you'll be able to jump even higher. Um, and doing black flips also gives you the ability to um, boost your shield. So if you um, run into rocks, then it'll destroy the rocks rather than um, having to re restart the level or uh, watch an ad to continue from where you left off. So the idea is to get as far as you can and um, perform various objectives in order to get um, as far as you can. And then as you can see, the game offers a nice level of physics as well as um, an automatically changing... Um, or automatically rotating um, set of environmental conditions. So it started off with just a regular desert scene and um, it goes transitions into day and night and then rain, no rain. Um, you also can perform tricks off of balloons. Um, so the game does offer a few additional um, idea things over... Um, the predecessor so that's really all there is for that and i have a or i've gotten up to level seven because i accomplished the um three objectives of the game and then now as you can see i can there the next set of objectives to get to past level eight is to jump off a wooden ramp collect a super coin and wall cross wall right across a chasm and then i do have three levels to go in order to get to the next level so um if I want to be able to um, perform various upgrades and I guess get other characters as well, there is that as well, which going to the main screen will... Um, so I'll hit pause really quick and I'm going to go to the home. And um, I think it's in the menu if I remember, or actually maybe not in the menu, maybe... Oh, actually down here hidden in the um, bottom right is the ability to have different characters. So if you want to play as... Um, Maya, who has, um, who can flip faster and but is a little bit slower. There's uh, Paz, who um, 
he has the ability to start slow but build momentum and things like that. So there are various characters, and if you want to play as, I guess, Felipe, he looks like an alpaca or llama, I guess. But um, you do get various characters, and you do you can either unlock them for um, by paying some money. It doesn't look like you can um, unlock them with coins, but there is that as well. Um, but that's really the bulk of the game. Um, if you've played the first one, it's pretty familiar, but it's an endless runner style game with the ability to collect coins to perform, to get various uh, upgrades so that you can um, upgrade your character as well to do, to have various upgrades and all that. So that's really all there is for that. So if you want to get this, uh, if you want to check out all the prior reviews, they can be found on YouTube at youtube.com slash patelN01. Of course, the website is patelin01.com for the uh, podcast subscription links and all of that good stuff. And, of course, you can get this review early and help support the show and all that good stuff on the Patreon at patreon.com slash patelin01. And, of course, you can um, find all my tweets and get in touch with me on Twitter at patelin01. But that's all there is for this review. Thanks for tuning in, and until next time.